Now that Avatar 2 is out, James Cameron could easily focus on his next project, but only if his next project is a sequel to Terminator Dark Fate. A sequel is the only way for the entire franchise to be saved, don't you think so? Dark Fate may have disappointed viewers, but that won't be the case with Terminator 7. Why? Because this project will be nothing like the ones you've seen so far. With no further ado, here's why Terminator 7 will blow your mind. Be warned, as we detail what we know and discuss theories about the sequel, there will be spoilers for Dark Fate. James Cameron is the guy we should all send thank you cards to because he's the person responsible for some of the most successful and popular flicks in the world, including Terminator, Titanic, and of course Avatar. By the way, have you seen Avatar 2? What do you think of it? Of course, Cameron is not the only person who should be credited for Terminator. He and Gail Anna Hurt founded the Terminator movie series in 1984. The franchise was so successful that it led to several sequels back when sequels weren't even a thing. And following the release of Dark Fate, fans have been anxiously waiting for its continuation. So will it happen? Of course it will. Rumor even has it that the project will have an early 2023 release date, which is sadly not true. What we do know is that Linda Hamilton, Edward Furlong, and Natalie Reyes will be included in the promising cast ensemble in addition to Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, obviously. We mentioned this before and we'll say it again, the next film is the only chance for the creators to fix the franchise because the sequels that happened so far are not so great. One of the most criticized Terminator films is the 2019's Dark Fate, and this happened before. Fans of the franchise have been burned too many times and we completely understand if they lost any hope that the next film would be better because statistics suggest it'll be as bad as its predecessor. We don't think this is true simply because we have an optimistic view when it comes to the Terminator saga. Talk. Talk fast. Because I was her. We should also consider the fact that the release dates between the Terminator movies seem to get shorter and shorter. For those who need a reminder, there was only a four year gap between Genesis and Dark Fate. There were many issues with Genesis, I'll admit that, and the worst part is that Dark Fate completely ignored the unanswered questions in Genesis, which is why there are so many negative reviews. Before we jump into some surprising plot details regarding the next Terminator film, let's share the potential release date for it, shall we? A 2029 release date seems more likely than a 2023 one. There are many theories suggesting that this release date would simply adjust to the story in the franchise, but we would love it if the creators just take their time in order to give us a film that would do justice to the first ever released Terminator film. One thing we know for sure is that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, Creators of Terminator 7, please take your time to make a film worthy of our time. Sadly, a lot of fans claim that one thing they don't expect to see when it comes to the next installment is a good film. As for its plot, we do know that there are millions of questions that need to be answered, and we do know that the next film could change things completely because this project might be the start of something new, the start of a new trilogy. Another theory suggests that Dark Fate is the start of a brand new trilogy. With so many Terminator films out there, I can't believe that Dark Fate is the most criticized one. Back when the film got released, the creators, the cast, and literally everyone talked about a sequel, the sixth installment in the franchise is actually the third film in the Terminator franchise. Most people ignored the actual third and fourth movies and the reboot Genesis. So guys, does Dark Fate set up the sequel? Well, since these films are all about time travel, there's always room for more of them, and the universe in this particular franchise is a broad one, so we don't see an issue with the creators making as many continuations as they want. We, however, do see an issue in their quality. But when it comes to Dark Fate, the film leaves more than enough space for a direct continuation with the same cast ensemble. Of course. How? Well, let's do a quick recap of Dark Fate's ending in order to see what direction the next film will go. The very ending of the film features Danny Ramos and Sarah Connor looking at a playground where a young Grace spends some quality time with her family. But Danny and Sarah know something important. In the future, the machines will rise and Danny will save Grace while helping her become the soldier she needs to become in order to save humanity. Danny and Sarah then drive away, aware of the fact that Judgment Day is coming and Grace is the only person that could help them win the battle against the machines. This scene perfectly sets up the plot for the next installment. I mean, it's quite obvious. 
Dark Fate producer James Cameron told Digital Spy they have enough material to use not for one, but for three more movies. He actually said they spent several weeks figuring out what type of story they wanted to tell so they would have something to pitch Linda. Then they started to break out the story, and when they finally got a handle on something, they looked at it as a three-film arc, so yeah, the Terminator saga would most definitely continue. In yet another interview with Yahoo, Cameron said that Sarah Connor becomes a really important character in passing the baton to the new characters that come in, adding that it's a very female-centric film. I'm glad Tim embraced those themes. Some of the new characters he's referring to are Natalia Reyes and Mackenzie Davis. Do you guys have any theories regarding the next Terminator film? Let us know before we dive into these super interesting questions everyone has regarding the third installment. We die tonight. Mankind dies with us. Okay, so in Dark Fate, we discover that Skynet no longer exists. We also discover that Legion is sending back new Terminator models, but what exactly does this mean? Maybe it means that another Arnold Schwarzenegger model T-800 won't appear in the future? It's really awful to imagine a film without Schwarzenegger since he's a huge part of the film's popularity and success, but this theory is quite reliable. Creator James Cameron thinks that the Skynet future no longer exists or is accessible. This is what he said during an interview observed by IGN. He further explained that they wouldn't necessarily build an Arnold T-800 in the Legion version of the future because that's a different technological development pathway. But he finished the interview stating he wouldn't rule out ever seeing Arnold again in another movie. Oh, he also mentioned that he will continue the franchise if they make tons of money from the second installment. Well, that didn't age well, did it? Another question we have in mind is how many T-800s were sent back by Skynet? In order to kill John Connor, Skynet sends back at least a couple of T-800s, so it's not only the one scene in the Terminator. But how many robots did Skynet send back in exactly? What's the number here? Well, in the previously mentioned interview, Cameron confirmed that there was probably a rack of Arnold-based T-800s up in the Skynet version of the future, and some or all of them were dispersed through time to targeted places. So we already know the ones in the story, that's three, plus an additional one that Sarah mentions, one or two kinds of off-camera ones. Cameron also confirmed that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Okay, seriously, this means there were six, right? Well, we still don't know the exact number, and that's one of the reasons we need a sequel to be greenlighted ASAP. See you in the next video.